<clears throat> Let's get over here, guys, to 1000 BC Phoenician historian Sankuniathan wrote a very compelling, interesting history in the pre-Greek times of the unfolding of ancient events, not a hint of a knowledge of the Zodiac. Livy, Roman historian. You guys know I love my Pliny the Elder. Pliny the Elder wrote natural history. He wrote all about the stars. Nowhere in Pliny's works does he mention a Zodiac. Strabo. <clears throat> Strabo was a Greek geographer. I read his material. He also wrote about the Great Pyramid. Not a hint about the Zodiac is anywhere in Strabo's material. His counterpart, equally intelligent and prolific in his writings, was Diodorus Siculus. Nothing about the Zodiac at all. We have these writings. Nothing. Thales of Miletus, who predicted the phoenix darkening the sun in 583 BC during the great battle between the Medes and the Lydians that started a peace treaty that is recorded today at the monument called Yasilikaya, which shows the kings of the opposing armies forging a, a, a alliance after five years of warfare with each other. And in their hands, they both hold an eclipsed sun. Not a normal eclipse, something else dark in the sun. Mara Case, veterans know what that was. It wasn't the moon. Thales of Miletus, no mention of the Zodiac. Anaxagoras, Anaximander, there is no mention of the Zodiac. Thucydides, Thucydides recorded everything. He's like Herodotus, except he specialized on the military campaign that him and his men went on. Nothing. Not a hint of a Zodiac. Hipparchus, nothing. Here's where it gets weird, guys. Here's where it gets really weird. <clears throat> Shivites Jagnarth, no. There were ancient Greeks who said that there was 1080 stars in the firmament, but they got their mis they got their mis they was mistaken. Older Greeks like Hipparchus said that there was 10,800 fixed stars, and then all the other stars moved a little bit. <clears throat> it's the number that's important, <clears throat> and the fact that it's attached to the idea of luminaries. You guys know the Great Pyramid is attached to the number two 1080. So <clears throat> here's where it gets just so weird. We know of the Trojan War through the writings of Homer, 800 years B.C. Homer emerged as the first of the great Greek epic writers after a 300-year Dark Age. Remember, guys, I've already gone into all the details about the Dark Age caused by the Phoenix in 1135 B.C. in the final year of Pharaoh Segnacti. This is what happened, guys. Homer wrote an epic called the Iliad. It is absolutely packed, full of data. There's not a single hint of a knowledge of a Zodiac anywhere in, the, in Homer's Iliad. And for those who want to make sure that Homer truly didn't know that there was a Zodiac, you might want to read the Odyssey. Because in the Odyssey, all about Odysseus, you'll also find there's no knowledge of a Zodiac in the Odyssey. It's not there. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> since you know that, then it shouldn't be a problem for you to digest that the next Greek writer who appeared about the same time was Hesiod, and he wrote Theogony. Theogony was the religion of, of, of the Greeks, all the religion, the, the gods and stars, nothing. Nothing about the Zodiac is in Theogony. That's a problem. So <clears throat> you would think that since Hesiod wrote the first, like, you know, farmer's almanac, it's called Works and Days by Hesiod. Nothing. There's nothing in there about a zodiac. No way to measure time. No 12 houses of the sun. No, no, no Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpion. None of that. It's not there. The great Greek epic writers did not know of a zodiac. That's a problem. <clears throat> so
So <clears throat> another one we should take into consideration is Theognis. Theognis was a prolific writer as well. We don't have a lot of his, all of his writings, but we do have one huge epic, nothing, no Zodiac. We have Lucretius, who wrote about the Phoenix, who wrote about the resets, who wrote about the history of the world, was one that is measured in earthquakes. He, Lucretius even wrote about the, that an object at fixed times darkens the sun and is unknown to astronomy because of the irregularity of its appearance. Lucretius wrote that. Lucretius wrote on the origin of the universe. It is 7,300 lines. There's not a hint in Lucretius that he had any knowledge of a zodiac. Do you think all these Greek, Greek, ancient Greek writers would have omitted something that would have been so easy to weave into their narratives? Yeah, I don't. I don't. Posidonius, nothing. Aristarchus, nothing. Crantor, nothing. What about Virgil? He wrote the Aeneid. He was a Roman. He wrote this epic poem in the Greek style. Nothing. No Zodiac. Aristophanes wrote the birds and other, other stage plays. No, nothing. No Zodiac. So <clears throat> what about the ultimate source for Atlantis? Graham Hancock loves to quote Plato's 9,000 years uh, uh, before Solon, even though it's all it was 9,000 moons. But he loves to quote Plato. I wonder if Graham Hancock knows that Plato never once mentioned the Zodiac. <clears throat> it's crazy which 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 i mean then it, with plato not knowing of the zodiac it, it takes away the mystery of aristotle not knowing of the zodiac either because that was his student aristotle wrote posterior analytics in many other very technical texts but he wrote about the stars he wrote about nature but he didn't write about the zodiac so <clears throat> I, I can already see people trying to process this information and wrap this information around you know their paradigm uh, a case in point <clears throat> uh, she's not wrong the Zodiac is in everything via symbology and metaphor, though. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. But it's all ex post facto. I'll get to that in a minute. Because I'm going to show you where the Zodiac came from. So we've listed all these ancient authors, all these ancient epics, these ancient texts, all these civilizations that are supposed to be super old, like the Egyptians, the Chinese, the, the people of India. Nothing. No Zodiac, guys. Tacitus, Plutarch, Marcus Varro, Seneca, Cicero. Guys, the list goes on. I can't name them all. I would have to name every single writer of the ancient world. I'm not going to do that. I just named a bunch of them for an example. For an example.